Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 148 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania where I live, where I work, where I knit and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much for coming by and checking me out. I hope you like it here. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to see me for another week and see what I've been up to since you last saw me. I'm so happy to have all of you here with me. It's, I love it. I'm just so happy to have everyone here. So today is Saturday, February 11th, 2023. And it's a gorgeous day. It does not feel like winter. I think yesterday or the day before it got to like 61 Fahrenheit, 63 Fahrenheit, early February, mid-February, crazy, crazy weather. It's bright blue sunny skies out today, it's gorgeous. I'm back to wearing short sleeve shirts, <laughs> so it's, it's so nice out today. So we've been out most of the morning, uh, most of the day, it's already 3.30 when I'm filming this. We went out this morning, they have once a month the fire hall across from my husband, across the street from where my husband works, they have a fundraising breakfast buffet. So we went there this morning, met with a few people from our church, had breakfast together. It's so good. It's always so good. Then we had a few things we had to get done. I had a, a meeting or time with a handful of women from the church and we had um, some study time together, which was really nice. Hubby got some work done and We just did some visiting with some people and we're finally home <laughs> so, But it's been a good day so far So I have had a good week with my knitting. I've got quite a bit of stuff done and I'm so close to So close to having two finishes to show you today but I only have one. So, my finished object this week are my Advent Advent 2022 leftover. They're not sort of shorties, they're, <laughs> they're a decent length on the leg. So what I did with this is I had bought a advent calendar from Orlando Fiber Arts and oh I forgot to bring something over here I'll have to grab that later they um, <laughs> I saw something shiny anyway I bought a um, advent calendar from Orlando Fiber Arts and actually bought two of them a 24 day and a 12 day I'll talk about the 12 day a bit more in a little bit but what I did with this advent calendar is I used each of the 24 little mini skeins, 20 gram mini skeins I got in my anthology throw, a pattern by Helen Stewart. And then when it recommended us to change colors, I switched colors and what was left went into my socks. And the plan was just to continue using all the 24 colors up to the end of the socks. I did them toe up so that I could get as many there and make the sock as long as necessary. Um, no pattern specifically that I follow, it's just kind of a toe up recipe. So I did the toes, um, gusset increasing on the bottom of the foot or along the side going up, then just a regular heel turn, slip stitch, heel flap, and then continued up the leg and then about I think it's probably about 20 20 odd rows of two by two ribbing at the top and in order to use every bit of yarn I actually have a little the uh, the canal toids type little tin that I put all the tails in and that there's literally a tiny bit of yarn left there's like about that much of each that much two pieces from each color so there's very little left over I basically used everything so I did all the colors color number 23 there was very little left but that's okay and colors 
22 and 24 are quite similar. This one's a little bit more pinky, this one's a little bit more of an orangey red, but they're very similar. And then just so it was, I could use the absolute most of my yarn, I finished off the cuff by doing, I think, three rounds of a bare yarn that, that matched or the same yarn from the toes, the heels, and the cuff, or the top of the cuff. I love them. I love them. They're done. They're gorgeous. And I love them. So using up every last bit of my advent calendar scraps. So that's my one finished object for the week. And I really was hoping to also have my anthology throw finished for today. And I got so close. So, so close. I am on the bind off. And I'm about, probably about a third of the way around, maybe. It's hard to tell because there's so many stitches on the needles right now. There are, once you get to the last part of this blanket, there's over 1,100 stitches to go all the way around. So there's a, a boatload of stitches. So here's where I am at right now. Um, try to do this without losing things. So this part is bound off. I have bound off this much so far. So it's about a quarter or a third. So I'm hoping to finish binding this off today. I might not, we shall see. So if I didn't say yet, this is the anthology throw by Helen Stewart from The Curious Handmaid. And it is one of the patterns from her Knitvent 2022 ebook. Just drinking some cold tea. I drink my tea black, so if it gets cold, doesn't matter. I'll, just, I'll drink it hot, cold, medium, doesn't matter. So, my anthology throw, almost done. I will, all things go well, I will have it finished and blocked before I see you next week. So, I ended up on the the last part so this is color 22 then color 23 is the variegated 24 and then I was wondering how I was going to deal with because I knew I wasn't going to have enough in the 24 colors to finish the blanket or the throw shawl whatever it's going to be some people have suggested that I use the full skein from day 25. So I decided what I do is I used about 30, 36 or so, 30, between 36 and 40 grams of color, the full skein from day 25. I wanted to keep some of it so that I would be able to make a pair of sort of shorty socks with the rest of it. And then I just took a bare yarn and I did I think two or four rounds, four rounds in the bare yarn and I'm doing the bind off in the bare yarn. So this kind of gives you an idea of what the, the edging pattern looks like. So the hope is that this will be done for next week. And then I think I have shown you a finished object. It'll be, I think, three or is it four weeks in a row? I'm really trying my hardest not to cast anything new on. So far I'm succeeding recently. I'm tempted to cast on more, but for now, I've been able to show a little bit of restraint and I've not cast on anything new. 
other than what you what, what we have in here. This is a little project bag I got from Moonstone Dye Works a while back. And these are housing my February socks, my February sort of shorty socks. And these are, the yarn is from my 12 day advent calendar from Orlando Fiber Arts. And these are, that particular advent calendar has 12 50 gram skeins of yarn. So what I've been doing with this is, my plan is to open the advent calendar on the first of each day of the year in 2023. And I will make one pair of sort of shorty socks each month in 2023. So I have no idea what the yarn looks like from March forward or day three forward. I've only opened the first two. The first one was a gorgeous tealy blue green, gorgeous tonal color. This one, the second one is this gorgeous pinky purple um, speckly kind of yarn. So for each of these socks, I'm going to be doing them two at a time, toe up, so that I can use the absolute maximum amount of the yarn from the advent calendar. And this is where I am on these now. I have spent, since I finished up with day 24 on my anthology throw, and then I finished off my advent leftover socks, and basically the rest of my spare time this week has been knitting on my anthology throw. I did work on this one a bit today because we were out, today and yesterday because we were out and about traveling so I didn't have a chance to um, work on the anthology throw as much. But here are my February socks. So this little cap marker up is what I've done this week. These little blue markers are marking every 10 10 rounds. So if my calculations are right, I think I need to do, after the toe is done, I need to do 60 rounds and then do the gusset increasing. And it's just right for my big size 10, 10 and a half feet. So there we have them. So I'm doing them the same as I did my January socks and much the same way as I did my Advent leftover socks. The toe and heel will be in a bare yarn. And so the toes are done. I will do the, the foot up until I'm ready to change to using the bare yarn for the heel turn and the heel flap. Then I'll rejoin my February yarn and I will continue knitting until I run out. When I run out, I will switch to the bare yarn again and I will do between two and five rounds of the bare yarn to finish off the ribbing at the top. I think I'll do a two by two. I think I did on my January socks, I was just checking. I think I did a two by two ribbing on there. I'll probably do the same on this. I might do a one by one. I'll decide when I get there. But that's my progress on my January socks. So again, I don't have a specific pattern for this. It is just using a basic toe up sock recipe. So, those are all my works in progress. So, I forgot a stash enhancement thing over there, so I'm going to pause, move the camera so I can go and get the yarn, and I'll come back and I'll tell you about that. So, I'll be right back. I'm not sure if this is back in the same spot. Anyway, so I'm back. I have a small bit of stash enhancement. I was looking around on Etsy and I found this person that had these mystery yarn where you pick the weight and the type of yarn you want, whether you want 100 grams of, whether it was worsted, DK or sport, fingering weight, or if you wanted the minis, or if you wanted two 50 gram skeins of yarn. And she had them set as two that matched. And what you could do is then you would just do them on each sock, I guess. So you could do them two at a time and they were already separate. So I, I messaged her to see if I could get just two random 
different 50 gram skeins of yarn in the sock the sock kit which is what she calls this particular weight and this particular one and she said yep that's not a problem so I placed an order and I love it so it is by Dragonflight Yarns I hope that's focusing nicely and here is the the yarn information again I hope that's focusing so this is gorgeous so I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use them as two colors together in a color work sock pattern because there are two patterns coming out in sock madness that call for one calls for 52 and 52 and 48 grams of two contrasting colors so I was thinking that these might work out well and even if I do them fraternal where I do one the main color suppose I'll do one of them this is the main and this is the contrast then switch them contrast and main I think I did that the same either way I'll switch them so they'll be fraternal socks so that might be what I do because there are two patterns in the, the specs for sock madness that say the call for two roughly 50 gram skeins of yarn so that might be what it is what I do it with or I might just do two two sort of shorty socks with bare yarn for the toes heels and the tiny bit on the cuff but these are pretty I really like the orange is not really a color that I gravitate to it's not really a color that works well close to my face I don't think um, but my feet that's perfectly fine but it's got cute little so there's a few little speckles here and there and the green is such a nice earthy gorgeous green and I, I am thinking that these might work really nicely as like a stripey sock together or two sort of shorty socks I'll decide later but that's my my stash acquisition in the past while I haven't other than my advent calendars I've been trying not to buy a lot of new yarn because I do have enough yarn to knit until I'm probably about 200 years old <laughs> I really have no business buying more yarn but I don't seem to let that stop me I don't buy a lot of new yarn recently I am really trying to use up what I have but I have been tempted here and there by by a few yarns so that's it for my knitting and my stash that I wanted to show you other things that are new last night we went out and saw the movie um, my husband was saying he saw this movie and I'm just like, um, what on earth? It's Marcel the Shell in shoe in shoes. Marcel the Shell. I think it's Mar. Oh, there's one more word in the title. But anyways, Mar Marcel the Shell in shoes. Um, that's the, the majority of the name. We went and saw that in the theater that's right close to where we live. Oh my goodness. I absolutely loved, 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 loved that movie. It was so stinking cute. If you have not seen it yet, if you can find it in the theater to see, or if you can rent it stream it from someplace it's worth watching because it is so so adorable i absolutely love marcel <laughs> 
it is just so so cute it uses stop some um, stop animation claymation stop animation and it's the whole story about this little shell he's an inch tall and it's a guy that is interviewing him and his grandmother and just oh it's just it's so cute if you have not seen it yet it's worth a watch um, if you just search um, Marcel the shell on YouTube there's I think three little I think part one two and three that show some of the clips that were used in the movie but it also has some extra bits um, in in the YouTube video that wasn't on the film on on the movie and then there's a lot more in the movie so there's like three little like between three and six minute little bits so if you're curious just check out just search on YouTube for Marcel the shell and watch part one two and three it is just so cute I absolutely love Marcel and I absolutely it was so fun it was just so stinking adorable and there were some moments in there that were just complete and total laugh out loud moments. There was one scene where he gets car sick. <laughs> I was laughing so hard, the tears were just pouring down my face. There's like no sound coming out anymore because I was just laughing so hard. And then even afterwards, like a couple more scenes had passed and I thought about it again and I just started I started laughing again. It was so adorable. I I love Marcel. <laughs> I am so glad that Javi talked me into going to see it. Because I was just like I had I had actually seen the on the marquee at the theater. I saw this Marcel the, the shell in shoes or in his shoes or whatever the exact title is. And I'm like, what on earth is that all about? And I'm like I have no idea what that's about. And then the hubby um, showed me a trailer for it and I'm like, oh man, we got, yeah, we, let's go see it because it is just so adorable. It looked, the, the trailer looked adorable. So, <laughs> it was, it's worth, it's worth trying to get to. It's worth trying to see it if, if you can, if you can get to it in a theater or stream it someplace. It is like thumbs up all the way. 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I, I would easily watch it. That's one I would probably actually wouldn't mind buying the DVD when it comes out. So I own a copy to watch it more than once. He's just so cute. So <laughs> that was our some of our fun that we had yesterday and partly why I also didn't get extra work done on my anthology throw because we were out at the movie theater instead so, but it was worth it so next week I'm, I am actually I think I probably have in the next week or two I will have a few more acquisitions to show you because my birthday is coming up in a week. Actually on the 18th is my birthday. And I'll probably film on the 18th. But I'm planning on treating myself to a few things. I'd like to get a larger project bag. The ones I have are sock size or like a sm between a small and medium size. Which are great because I have a lot of small to medium size projects. But I'm finding that my anthology throw, it had outgrown pretty much all of my project bags that I had. And I was just using like a big, um, a pretty, a big and pretty tote bag that I had. I was using that to, to carry my anthology throw around. But now it's got big enough that it's not, I'm not taking it anywhere with me. And I also have my Rachel top. Which as soon as anthology is done, I will be down to two whips. I will be working on my Rachel top and my January socks. And I'm not, I'm going to try my hardest not to cast anything else on until the Sock Madness qualifying round starts. Which probably, 
if I have to guess, it'll probably come out between the 16th and the 19th of February. It's probably when the um, qualifier might be closer to the 19th or 20th. Um, but that'll be my next new cast on. So otherwise, I'm hoping to get a good dent in my Rachel top between now and when when the um, the Sock Madness qualifying round starts. And also hoping to get more on my, my, my February socks as well. But as soon as the anthology is done, I'm crossing my fingers. I'll get finished binding it off tonight because we've got a couple. We're doing a Rift Tracks double feature we're going to watch this evening after supper. So I should be able to get a good part of the bind off done tonight crossing my fingers that I'll actually finish the bind off tonight. That would be fantastic, but we shall see. And then I will get anthology blocked on, probably won't work on blocking it till Monday because I'm going to need a fair bit of time to get that done. And Sundays are usually pretty busy with us with church and a bunch of school things that I have to finish up on, on a Sunday afternoon and evening. So, that's the plan. So hopefully next week, or not hopefully, I will have a new finished object to show you next week. And I do want to get a good, another good dent done in my Rachel top. Because it's been probably six weeks to a, a, a month to six weeks since I've touched that, that knit. So that one is the next one that I really want to work on and get that closer to completion. And my January socks. So those are the plans, but I am planning on doing some hunting around and looking for, I've been perusing Etsy lately, looking for ideas for a larger size, the sweater size um, project bag to buy for myself for my birthday, or I might buy, I buy, might buy myself a skein or two of yarn. I might get a couple couple more 50 gram skeins of yarn so that I have more set up and lined up for my uh, more sort of shorty socks. Because truth be told, the sort of shorties vanilla socks or just a plain ribbed sock are my favorites. Those are the ones I wear the most often. Those, who's backing up? He's, he's settled. All right, so I just distracted myself again. Good grief. Anyway, so I should sign off, get the editing done on here. I have to go do my time on the treadmill while this is doing the exporting, and then I'll get it uploaded onto YouTube um, later this afternoon and get ready for our Rift Tracks double feature and my anthology through a bind off continues. <laughs> so, on that note, I will let you go. If you have some suggestions for larger size project bags that you really love, drop a link down below in the comments. Uh, give me some suggestions of... So I'm just looking on Etsy. So if you know of someone else who doesn't sell on Etsy but they have their own... Um, their own web websites where they sell project bags from give them a shout out down below so I can take a look at them and I'm, I am eyeing up the um, uh, fat squirrel bags but she doesn't have any available right now or the last time I checked so I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to hold out and hopefully I can snag one when she does have them back in stock or if I'll get something else I don't know. Anyway, I've, how many times have I tried to say that's all? <laughs> anyway, I am gonna, I am gonna go now, and take care, everyone. And I will see you in a week. Bye.